Hello again. I'm AJ. Welcome to my channel, Conscious Evolution. Glad to have you back. You know, I have three whole subscribers now. <laughs> yeah. This is, uh, started the channel two days ago? Three days ago. So if I can get a subscriber per day, I'll be all right. Uh, before I get started here, I want to shout out uh, another YouTuber who just started. His name, uh, his channel's name is Bone Z B O N E Z E E. Came across his videos yesterday. He did his, uh, he's got a couple of videos that um, show his reconnection with uh, Everyday Masters case and his channel, Everyday Masters. So also check out that channel. Could change your life or could confirm what you already know. If you're over here, I'd imagine you're in the awakening process. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to read from the book Solomon Speaks on reconnecting your life. This book is awesome and everybody should own a copy of it. No excuses for any of you. I paid $6 for this on eBay. All right. And it's in great condition. I just lost my page too. So, I want to read it's chapter 12. It's called, There's a Sublime Ecstasy in Nothingness. Now, a little back story on this book. You know what? Nope. You buy it. You learn the back story. You read the prologue or whatever they call that stuff. What do they call that now, Dan? Yeah, prologue. <laughs> uh, I kind of like doing this I got a little setup here What do you guys think? You like this setup? Or should I go back to driving and, and run in my mouth? <laughs> Alright, chapter 12 There's a sublime ecstasy in nothingness Pay attention Your patience is required in this effort We feel your life coming stronger through this space Your existence is required for a force to come. You're in a space that is going to require great ease of nature. It is for you to establish a bulkhead on the beach of disharmony. Your life is in your hands now. True that. Your energy here is of that which is. That which is, is source energy. It is this energy that is required we are here to help you establish this frontier. All right, so this is uh, Solomon. It is an entity that's came through one of Dr. Earl's, Dr. Eric Pearl's patients, and they transcribed all their, they recorded and transcribed all their sessions together, and that's where this book came from. Now I guess cat's out of the bag. You still need to buy the book and read it. I'm not gonna read the whole thing for you. Okay, okay. All right, your energy here is of that which is. It is this energy that is required. We are here to help you establish this frontier. You're going to feel the force certainly in a new way. Ultimately, it will change a great destiny. It is only the beginning of a great period of time to come. Yes, it, we feel this very clearly now. You're coming into a different way of engagement. Relish the existence of a force that has never been before. He's talking about these frequencies. Understand the responsibility of such greatness. There is an immense undertaking. It is coming clearer and clearer as we progress. We feel that we need to underline certain values in your life. I'm going to guide you in this, understand, in this undertaking. It will be in a sphere of influence course I'd have trouble changing the page when I'm recording it will be in a sphere of influence not seen before it is of utmost importance that this message be conveyed your force here is of that which is which is the force of the universe it has been here for eternity there's a greatness of life here there's there are great undertakings to be embarked upon you will see this as it appears. It is near, very near. It is beyond your dreams. Oh yeah. You will understand it as it unfolds. It is a new dawning characterized by the harmony of nature. 
you will usher in you will usher those forward into it it is here for you to guide understand your mission feel it in your life it is not of notoriety it is of immense greatness in the satisfying nature of the way it is permitted to flow you will feel it certainly <clears throat> excuse me I feel it for you now we are so near you we want you to need this for you we will be here for you to access there is a way to do this and it is coming to you on one particular plane but there are others as well so it's coming to us on this plane but there are other planes as well you will understand this as we continue your efforts are deeply appreciated your energy is of the universe feel it in your life in your life in the force that motivates you feel it through your heart it's in your own by its force It is an appreciation of the force that is implied in life itself. You feel it in your moments of ecstasy and energy. It is always constant. You are inconstant. Your ability to access it is inconstant. You can unleash. You need to unleash your heart from your head. It is not a cerebral exercise. You won't find it that way. It's in your instinct. You must carry it in your instinct. You cannot buy it anywhere. It's not for sale. You have it inside of you. All right? I don't care how much money you have. You can't buy it. Remember what I said before. You know, instinct is the music of life. Or the music of life is your instinct. I just looked at it. It was 7 -11. That's cool. It's one of my numbers, too. All right, you have to decide why you love this work. Where is it coming from? Where is this love for this work? <clears throat> you need to examine that with your heart. It's not about fulfilling your needs. It's about opening your life to experience. It's not here for gratification. It's there for exploration. So exploring this, that's what I'm doing here. Exploring the frequencies, I'm learning the frequencies. I'm exploring with the YouTube channel. Seeing where this takes me and all three of my subscribers. There is nothing wrong with gratification if it is the byproduct of the work. If it's the initial goal, it's misguided. Your energy is such that it is that it will always be there. You may not be opening your life to your people. Your life, you block it. You need to allow your life to open in the presence of those people and not in a cerebral way. I think what he's talking about is the people that you, uh, you're healing, that you're working on, you know, doing uh, the healing sessions and reconnections and so on and so forth. There's a sublime ecstasy in nothingness. You need to experience that with all your clients. The rhythm of the universe between you is harmony in life itself. You will need to allow that rhythm to conduct itself before you begin your work. The energy will flow naturally. Your work is such that it educates you as well as your clients and patients. It informs both. You should be growing as much as they are in the process. Don't deny the growth you will experience. It is your process. Everything in life is your process. We never stop learning. So when I say in your process I, mean, I just looked at it was 9-11 man that was crazy uh, so another one of my numbers it's meant to uh, you know people take that as bad 9-11 was actually meant to be a uh, uh, like an age of awakening or 9-11 but of course they turned it into something terrible where was I should be going as much of the process don't deny the growth that you will experience it is your process it is not about doing necessarily solely for them as much as it is as it is doing for you. Your consciousness will expand in direct proportion to your ability to open your life to your client. That's what we're about here, expanding consciousness, conscious evolution. 
You may have a habit of projecting energy rather than letting it flow. You force it. It's like someone singing a high note. It's clenched and shrill. Or just me singing it all. But when relaxed into, it's a full and mel melodious. That's a weird word. I don't know how to say that. Probably said that wrong. You're forcing the moment. You're forcing the energy. It will flow naturally when relaxed into. It's like any great artist. They must clear the channel to create. It comes from a higher power. All great art. You can't get in its way. You must allow it to flow, not force it. It's an acquired skill. It's about allowing it to happen, relaxing into it instead of forcing it. You're going to acquire what you need. You just need to let go of acquiring. You mustn't disavow. You mustn't disavow your life and its path of learning. There are only lessons. There are no mistakes. And you will continue to have lessons. It's unending, but it will lead you to the space you need to be in. It's a great lesson to come. It is monumental in scope. It's it's just like when I say follow your highest joy. You know, follow your highest excitement with, you know, uh, man, I can't think of it right now. Just follow your highest excitement with integrity without needing it to turn out any particular way, you know. Have zero uh, on the outcome. I can't, why can't I find the words? It only happens when I'm recording, when I'm telling anyone else, and it's just there. Anyways, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Maybe. I don't even know what I'm saying. What did I say? <laughs> anyway, back to the story. I want you to understand your life force in its entirety. It is your existence that will generate a different understanding of relationships on this plane. You will feel your heart reach out to those on a grand scale. It's here for your understanding. We want you to recognize that power within you, within you, it's within you, to accomplish great good in this space. It is necessary as we approach a new era that has great difficulty in its transition. This is going to be a <laughs> this is going to be a great controversy in the environment. It is going to unsettle those who are dubious in their thought patterns. Are you dubious in your thought patterns? They are going to be forced to deal with issues heretofore unmentioned for them. We want you to represent the force that is coming through you and understand the energies around you. You're in a period of learning your life force. Wow, 1311 when I looked at it. Wow. You're going to help those understand the cosmic force in life and its immediate results in the environment. Don't think of the results. Think of the process. It's a process. It's always a process. Life is a process. What you're getting better at is being able to modulate the energy as it flows through you and direct it. That is the process. Do not think of the target. Henceforth, you will have results that are more significant in your arena. There is a chorus behind every endeavor in this plane. You are not alone in your work. There are multitudes of people or spirits who are bolstering every effort in your life. They appear as you become more conscious. <clears throat> Excuse me. They aren't necessarily going to stand and be photographed with you. But they are there, and they are there to help your energy flow. At times, you will feel them more clearly. You know, I can, you know, I, I think they're always here. But every time, for the past several months, I can clearly feel something or someone coming into the room. Even if all the doors are closed, it's just... You know, if like you're sleeping, you know, your eyes closed, your back turned, and you know when someone walks in your room, you just get that feeling. That's the feeling I get in a closed room by myself with no one home. I get that feeling. I know if someone's there. So I talk to them. Why not? I mean, we're all spiritual bodies that, that are just in this meat suit, you know? 
Our our spirit animates this body. We are of a different plane. We're just here for an experience. Well, we volunteered to come here also. Some of us, I think some of us were sent here and others volunteered. I think I volunteered to carry this frequency and probably do this. All right, where was I? Uh, not necessarily going to be standing and be photographed with you, but they are here to help your energy flow. At times, you will feel them more clearly, and also because of your development, you're able to access them more clearly. They have always been there. You are suddenly seeing and feeling them. Very true. Very, very true. It's because your development is taking you to that stage. It will help you understand that their efforts are your efforts. The entity of life is that which is, which is the great power that thrusts us all into various planes of existence. We all, we are all a part of the great entity, that energy. Wow. Like I said, guys, this book is amazing. And for $6, there's no reason you shouldn't purchase this book. You can probably get an ebook of it for like two bucks or something, three dollars. I just don't I like having a physical book, something I can read and take with me. And if the power goes out, I can still read it, you know. That's my thought process. So, uh, what are your thoughts on this? You guys, uh, you feeling a new energy here? And you guys feel the, the frequencies in your hands, or have you tried doing that yet? Have you checked out Case? with everyday masters well check it out what's the matter with you come on man <clears throat> I'm not sitting here talking just to talk I could do that without the camera rolling take control of your life there's a great force here to help you in your life there's a great force inside of you and that's one of the biggest interpretations that the bible gets wrong no well not the bible misinterpreted christ is inside of you you are christ you are part of the christ consciousness which is an evolved consciousness all are one and one is all once we're all together man It's going to be good times. Unless you are those with dubious thought patterns, then you might have a tough time. Examine your thoughts. Hold every thought captive and study it. You know, what are the thoughts behind the thoughts? You know, it, it, take control of everything you're thinking through your mind. Hold every thought captive and then figure out if it's a dubious thought why where did it come from what belief are you holding on to that is is keeping that thought pattern up in your life is it because you just don't want to let go of it i mean we all need to really band together here we all need to get together in love let the energy flow and watch the magic happen i mean i'm excited i'm excited to be alive i'm excited moving forward here in my process I'm AJ with Conscious Evolution. I love all of you guys. Go check out my man's Bonezy, B-O-N-E-Z-E-E. -E -E. And that's it. Until next time. Peace.